These are the worst mistakes I've seen beginner coders make, or worse, that I've made myself. Not understanding the basics. The basics are boring. Who wants to learn how pointers or dictionaries work when you can just start making your dream project already and look into that stuff later? Well, the truth is that you won't fully master your language of choice until you master the basics. And once you do, it feels very special. Instead of seeing keywords and parentheses and question marks, you end up seeing what the code actually does. Just like when we learn to read, where individual letters turn into words that then turn into sentences. Avoid this mistake by staying humble and practicing the basics. Avoiding real world projects. This is the opposite of what I just said and applies to a different kind of programmer. These are people who stick to tutorials and books and exercises forever without ever applying their knowledge to the real world. This is just as bad as avoiding the basics because you won't solidify your skills this way either. Find a balance between mastering the basics and making real world projects. These are some beginner friendly coding projects you can try. Not knowing about code best practices. When we start out as coders we mostly focus on just making it work. That's step one, but step two is following style, documentation, usage, and design guidelines. This allows you to create not only code that works well, but that's also easily maintainable and that provides a nice user experience. For example, I'm currently getting into Flutter and Dart, and they've made a guide called Effective Dart that I study every day to make sure I write high quality code, because I believe the time I spent reading these guides will save me time further down the line, not testing properly. At my coding internship, I let at least one big avoidable bug slip because I didn't test it properly. I discovered it later and fixed it of course, but the lesson still remains. We must put some time into testing our code to make sure it works. In my case, I made improvements to one part of a GUI, which apparently impacted another part of the application that I didn't test, which then stopped working properly. These things happen, and personally I find testing a bit boring and just want to move on to the next thing, but it's embarrassing to leave bugs behind and it would be pretty cool to be known as the guy whose code just works. Leaving too many comments. I see this all the time a code block that makes perfect sense and is self-explanatory is surrounded by comments explaining it. While it may seem like a good deed, it just makes your code harder to read. Most of my code from university includes excessive comments, but I learned to limit it at my coding job. Here's a function I wrote earlier this year. It's fairly self-explainable, but I still added the unnecessary comments. I wouldn't make this mistake today as it just leads to clutter. Only write comments in places where someone else may be confused or wonder why you do something a certain way. Leaving no comments at all, and this is just as bad. The amount of strange, unexplainable code I've come across to where I'd spent hours trying to parse what the hell is going on, only to wonder why the person didn't bother just to write a quick comment explaining it. Having the I know it all attitude. I've seen this one many times and I've even been guilty of it myself. You make one nice thing in one programming language using one set of coding conventions and now you think you're the best. This is not the right mindset and it doesn't serve us well. Celebrate your success but stay humble for the challenges we have to deal with in the world of coding. It never gets easy. Not properly understanding the problem before starting to code. Jumping straight into coding without a plan is something I did too many times. It always ends up taking longer and causes more frustration than making and executing a plan would. I made this mistake over and over again, so I developed a framework to avoid it. Say you're tasked with creating a server that answers to a couple of API requests. It's very tempting to fire up a Python environment and start coding right away, but that's not the right way to go about it. Instead, follow this brilliant framework and never look back. Overcomplicating solutions. When I was a new baby coder, I would love creating these overcomplicated code blocks that were difficult to understand. This is not the right way to go. You won't get a medal for creating something complicated. You will get a medal for creating something maintainable, which is arguably harder. This is an exaggerated example, but it gets the point across. So my point is, don't aspire to create complicated things. Instead, create simple and beautiful code, ignoring soft skills. It's easy to think that as coders, all we have to do is write code. But the profession involves large amounts of human-to-human -human interaction as well, involving communication, teamwork, problem-solving, and understanding understanding our users. Getting along with others is just as important as mastering your language of choice, so it's important to put some effort into soft skills, even though it may seem unproductive. That concludes the worst beginner mistakes I've seen, but I would love to hear yours in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and you should watch this video next. Take care, and I shall see you there.